Alden, you know that this is a dream. You see the pale light of Elias's two moons over the kingdom. Over it all, in cities and towns, you see thousands of points of white light. Each light is someone, one little spark in the darkness. Suddenly you stop on a field of ice. A light, a spark, rests below the frozen surface, burning brightly. Focusing in again, you attempt to find Lucy. From behind, you hear a woman's voice. My child, you are here too soon. All that is refined in fire will be stronger still. Can you can you heal this man really quick? Oh no. Uh, the man before you is being poisoned, although you're not quite sure how. Oh, uh, oh geez. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Medicine isn't exactly my strong suit. More about having people need to get medicine. I'm going to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on him. Maybe you should um, read some poetry to him. From the back, <laughs> the ranger makes a suggestion, pausing everyone to stop and turn. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, and we can't stop them. In the Alchemist Tower, they have help. They're afraid of the mountain. It is a shiny red button. Somebody's got to push it. It is the world-famous dwarf mover. <laughs> I can tell you for certain there's a lot of delicious places to eat in Gansk. We don't have to worry about eating bomb. Do they serve goat? I mean, the lords aren't here. Actually, both of them aren't here right now. They're on their way back to try to figure all this out. Um, I mean, they're going to be here tomorrow. So Garrett takes one last bite of his apple, throws the core over his shoulders, says, great, we made our appointment. Let's find something to eat. You have a map of the city before you. You are welcome to go and do whatever you would like in the city. And it's pretty clear where the moon trader is. It's the only real point of noise other than you know construction and work that is happening around you happen to have anything maybe a little smaller that i can afford to maybe put on my chest all right i'm short i'm not a mile away calm down okay all right i need money <laughs> so wow isn't that a move but not. we do have a go can you stop with that i'm gonna make <laughs> armor to protect ba <laughs> that was so my next call yes him. It holds out a hand for entry. There's a small sign that designates five silver for entry. Great. You know what? That's a really great idea. We should probably help out as much as I can. I really like helping out. <laughs> I'm just going to be outside pacing back and forth, debating whether I wanted to spend money for something I don't get to keep. I would like everyone to please make uh, dexterity saving throws, please. Oh. What? <laughs> Roll the nat 20. <laughs> yeah. You are unable to catch yourself uh, as everything. And I do mean everything. The building, the ground, lurches slightly to the right. The legs that have been holding Gansk up and walking, a couple of them have begun to snake up. Uh, you're going to look down at the dwarf and say, hi, mom. Roll a dexterity saving throw, please. So that is a 14. Mm -hmm. You hear a uh, almost metallic ringing sound. You just barely come up to deflect a round object that is sailing at your face. You see that it is a small shield in the center, a symbol matching the symbol both on your wrist and on the bracer. You see red, white, and blue stripes all the way around. <laughs> With that, in all of the chaos of the city, we will end this session of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh,